Good morning, or let's say good afternoon. It's Judith Ann Desjardins in Santa Monica. And I just wanted to invite you to come by and see my gardens and to hear a story about what's really cool going on today. When I got up today, I decided that I was going to return to my garden, which I haven't been working in for several months. And I have had the most exquisite experiences with neighbors all of a sudden. This morning I was beginning to prune my passion fruit big vine here and two people uh, walked up. One is a man who um, introduced himself and said that he grows hyacinths in bulbs and he's so impressed with my garden that he wants to come by next week and drop off a bunch of bulbs for me. With him was a lady named Jennifer who's his friend and she asked if I could share some uh, passion fruit vines for her. So as I was trimming them, pulling them down from the trees and trimming them and explaining how to transplant them, this other lady walked from the other side and she said, oh, I just love your passion fruit trees. Is there any way to um, transplant that? And them and I said well yes I'm right in the middle of clipping off some vines for uh, these two friends and I would be happy to do it for you so we all talked together and we're talking about these wonderful vines whoops it's like I cut most of the long ones what's neat about them is that they have little tendrils that grow. They're like springy little coils that attach themselves to things as they grow. And I was explaining to transplant them, you need to bury them in soil, really good soil, give them water and uh, sunlight and you have to plant a, boat, a bunch of them because you don't know which ones are going to actually transplant and start growing. So this is a wonderful plant to have in your yard and to share with all of these neighbors. So my next visitor um, is a lady named Kathy that pulled up her... I'm going to dislodge the camera and take you. Kathy came by in her SUV, actually bumped in the curb. She was so excited to see me. And she asked, could I give her a bird of paradise with a long stem like this long one that she was going to visit a 90 some year old friend of hers in a nursing home and could she have a long stemmed bird of paradise to take to her friend and I said it would be my great pleasure I have found to my surprise that hummingbirds love the nectar that is exuded from the birds of paradise. And I actually had some of my hummingbirds hovering around like, don't give them all away because we love to suck on them. So then I turned the corner and there was this beautiful young lady from Kenya who had stopped at my water bowl for dogs. And I looked at the collar of the dog and I said, is that a Maasai beaded collar? 
And she says, as a matter of fact, it is. I'm from Kenya. And I said, I've been in love with the Maasai people for over 30 years. I've never had the opportunity to go there in person, but I have been supporting various water projects for communities there. And I took this young lady over to see my dog, Rudy, who I've shown before. There's my broody boy, who had a Maasai collar. And when he passed, for the first year I was so distraught. And finally I said, I have to do a rite of passage of finding life without my boy broody. But I took his Maasai collar and had it incorporated into the strap of a leather purse that I wore over my heart center and I took Rudy and I to Kyoto for a wonderful trip and met a wonderful family, um, Take Kawashima, who was the owner of the inn that I stayed in in Kyoto. And we have become friends and have corresponded ever since and I'm desperately wanting to take my husband there for another visit. So all of these people came to celebrate life and my garden. And I just wanted to encourage people that if you want to do something that blesses you and your community, this is indeed a wonderful way to do it through gardening and sharing your produce or your roses or building benches that people can sit on. I noticed that the bees have been hovering around the blossoms on my jade plant and that's really cool. Another way of blessing people is by buying or building a little free library, which I started doing in 2011 when my husband was diagnosed with prostate cancer. I thought, I want to do something that takes me out of the realm of cancer and is something that I can do that will give me great pleasure. And I made these waterproof decorations during Christmas and I see that there have been a ton of new donations for the library and I have all kinds of people who stop here, they drive up in cars, they walk, I see them taking a book or dropping off books and this is a valuable way of community building, a loving lovely thing to do. I was thrilled when the Little Free Library Association honored my library as a Little Free Library of Distinction due to its unique design, creative outreach, reach to friends and neighbors, and the enthusiasm of its stewards and patrons on behalf of the global movement of good people who support a sense of community reading for children, literacy for adults, and libraries around the world. We commend you for serving as an inspiration to others and providing a positive contribution to us all. Little Free Library by the original founder, Todd Bull, who, by the way, himself died of prostate cancer. So I have been enormously, enormously blessed by being in my garden, creating beauty, sharing beauty with my neighbors. It's a great way to talk. Look at this beauty. I love rosebuds. This is Sally's garden that I planted in 2005 as a memorial to my mother, Sally. 
So I'm sending you blessings and encouragement. We can't have much to do about the wars that are taking place and the devastation, but we can create beauty in our communities and get to know and share and love our neighbors. The young lady from Kenya said that she's gonna come by next week and drop off a present for me from Kenya. So I've made new friends and it's a wonderful day and I thank God for being alive and thank you for my followers on YouTube and LinkedIn. You give me purpose. I love to share what I'm doing and encourage people. So thank you for visiting today.